Hey, I'm Shane. And I'm Lex from Admin Arsenal. Our video today is brought to you by Breakfast Beer. Mm. Mm. Just start beer. the day off right. This beer. All right, dude. What are we, what are we looking at? Um, let's look at, uh, you know, different types of errors, specifically like a 1603 error or, you know, just problems with Java install. Java, absolutely. 1603, it's a very common error. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's one of the most common Windows errors. 1603 simply means a fatal error has occurred. Not a lot of information there. So, uh, and then there's also problems with deploying Java, such as you might have a deployment that just hangs. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got an example here where we've got our Java 7 Update 71 mm -hmm. package. Uh, this is downloaded from the PDQ Deploy package library. And we've deployed it successfully to three computers, but one has just been hanging there. And Hannibal's you, still trying. Hannibal's still trying. If you scroll over here, you see that most of them took, you know, a minute to 48 seconds right around there. Uh, about a minute, and then 12 minutes. Obviously, we've got a, something is awry. Yep. If you look at our regular Java package, this is not, not the alternate, you see the steps that we go through when we install Java, when you deploy it. We killed uh, known browsers. Mm -hmm. um, we, uninstall? We'll, we'll uninstall the same version because just in case somebody deploys on top of itself, it, it'll... Causes you, problems. You, yeah, you can cause problems. And then we just do the installation with a couple of cleanup steps. Mm -hmm. um, this is the recommended way to do it. However, there are some times where you'll get machines that just get the 1603 or they hang. What are we going to do in those cases? Let's just go ahead and In this and case, use, we'll kill this one. Yeah, we're going to abort this. Perfect. We'll, we'll deploy the alternate. Yeah, and there's also a, a, a package in the library called alternate. And it comes for all the different flavors of Java, Java 7, Java 8, etc. Uh, we're going to grab the alternate. If we quickly look at the alternate, you'll notice that there's quite a, a few additional steps. Yeah, we go and we uh, basically go find all the registry junk that's in there and mm -hmm. clean it up for you. One, one Hack of it, Shane's favorite word. Hack the registry. I hate that word. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> I hacked the registry. You just want to sound smart. That's all you're trying to do. Anyway, um, and it's not. Like gonna hack some, are we going to hack something now? Yeah. All right. Anyway, yeah, so we've, we've gone in there and cleaned up. This is where, this is kind of a brute force way of doing it. That's yeah. why we recommend that you don't install the alternate except on troubled machines, machines that already have that 1603 error or are timing out with other Java installs. My favorite way to call it is just, it's like full contact IT here at this yeah, point. Yeah, it is. I mean, we're just going in there, it's, uh, and, and we're just going in there swinging. It's, yeah. the, it's the big, it's kind of the big bully in, on, on the playground. No finesse. So we're just going to go ahead and, de and deploy this to which computer? The Hannibal. One, the one that was having a problem, yep. Hannibal. And we'll hit deploy. And so this is going to start the deployment. It's going to kill any previous uh, deployments from, by killing MSI exec. And it's, it's going to hack the registry. I'm going to kill you. I know. I'm, go I'm going, now you're still big. I, I can still take you. Uh, it's going to, yeah, we're going to kill the registry. We're going to kill all these known problem entries. We're going to actually delete the uh, JRE7 directory. Just a lot of brute force things to uh, make sure that you get a nice, clean install. And again, we've run this on 1603 errors and just, you know, general Java errors on machines, mm -hmm. and it's taken care of it. So Really, is uh, 16, while we're waiting for this to uh, go through its brute force stuff, uh, some, some reasons why you could get the 1603. I'll, I'll go ahead and open up. Open up one right here. Notice how we do the install Java. Uh, there's an MSI. This is for Java 7. We're including the entire directory because there actually is a, a separate file in Java 7. It's a data1.cab. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that checked, you haven't added that, that file, you're going you're gonna to get a 1603 yeah. because it needs, the, it needs the MSI as well as the cab file. So that's another reason why you might get a, a 1603. Um, if you're using the regular exe, that you, the offline exe that you downloaded from java.com, mm -hmm. um, if somebody's running a browser with a Java session, you can get a 1603 as well. So we don't use the, uh, we, we actually extract the installation files from the Java exe that's downloaded from their site and just deploy that. Yeah. Um, yeah Let's go see, it looks like we're probably done on that alternate package. Let's go take a look. So the alternate was successful. And it, we, let's go ahead and give it a, a quick test. I mean, Hannibal, oh, there's Hannibal. Notice it's now in the Java 7 32-bit latest. It left the old version, or the old collection. And we're just going to do a quick remote desktop to this computer. And let's do a, uh, let's run Firefox. 
if we can find it. And look at, uh, we're going to actually just run a quick Java applet from Oracle. We're going to go to java.com slash verify. And if you have a functioning Java mm -hmm. runtime, this will tell you. It will also tell you if you don't. So we'll activate it, allow and remember. Yeah, don't show it for Java again. There you go. So that worked. Um, once again, we want to stress, don't use the alternate unless yeah, you have to. Unless you have to. Please. Anyway, I'm Shane. I'm Lex. Rock on.